The word osteoporosis is a compound word where osteo refers to bone, porosis refers to pores. Simply put, osteoporosis is a disease where we have weakening bones. But before we get to the disease itself, let's first have a look at bones in general. Bones have an outer solid surface known as compact bone, which provides strength, particularly in compression forces. While the inner portion of the bone, known as spongy bone, it is less dense than the compact bone and it looks like it has holes all the way through it, which makes it look like a sponge. The spongy bone provides good support and flexibility, but without the weight. Although bone may appear to be unchanging, it is actually a very dynamic tissue and is constantly being remodeled, which is an active process between bone being broken down, called reabsorption, and bone being made, called bone formation. Bone cells known as osteoclasts cause bone to be reabsorbed, while bone cells called osteoblasts form new bone. Hormones such as estrogen, testosterone and growth hormone plus physical activity and a balanced diet actually keeps the osteoblast cells more active and in a greater number than osteoclasts when we are young, which means more bone is being added to than being removed, which allows our bones to become stronger and thicker when we're children and young adults. People have the strongest bones, known as bone mass, which peaks at about 20 to 29 years of age. After this age, osteoclasts become more active than osteoblasts, which means more bone is being removed than added and our bone mass starts to decrease. Therefore, osteoporosis is a condition where we see a reduction in bone mass, where irregular bone remodeling occurs. This can be seen in a decrease in bone formation. Risk factors for this is an increase in age, 50 year olds for females, 65 for males, a reduction in physical activity, and a reduction in hormones such as estrogen, which can be seen in postmenopausal states. All these together reduces the activity of osteoblasts, therefore decrease in bone formation, while certain drugs such as glucocorticoids and smoking increases the activity of osteoclasts, which increase bone reabsorption. Together, these will reduce bone mass which at the bone level can be seen by a thinning in the compact bone and greater or larger holes in the spongy bone, which is the porosis. Together, this will decrease bone strength, which increases the likelihood of fractures, such as in the vertebra, the neck of the femur, and the wrist. 